Senior civil servants in government, Sir Philip Rutnam, has told the BBC he has resigned from his post as permanent secretary at the Home Office. He says he intends to pursue a claim against the government for constructive dismissal after what he called a vicious and orchestrated campaign against him. His decision follows days of reports about tensions between him and the Home Secretary, Priti Patel. I have received allegations that her conduct has included shouting and swearing, belittling people, making unreasonable and repeated demands, behaviour that created fear and needed some bravery to call out. I know that resigning in this way will have very serious implications for me personally. The Cabinet Office offered me a financial settlement that would have avoided this outcome. I am also aware that there will continue to be briefing against me now I have made this decision. But I am, am hopeful that at least it may not now be directed towards my colleagues or the department. Welcome to the video, guys. So as you see there, top civil servant Sir Philip Rutnan has quit over what he calls a campaign of hate against him. In other words, he is being bullied by the five-foot home secretary, Pretty Patel, and apparently her office, which I'm sure you will know has been going on for a few days with the claims against Pretty Patel relating to bullying, which I'm not sure of the reasons. It could be down to something the Huffington Post reported about her not being happy with them covering up the grooming gang scandal, but we don't know that for sure. Either way, there has been plenty of reports that she has been going up against the civil service, which could also be part of Boris Johnson and Dominic Cummings' plans to take the civil service down a peg or two. Now, you heard his little soy boy bitch ass complaining in that little clip there about how he was bullied and treated badly by the Home Secretary Pretty Patel's office and how he felt he needed to do his little public speech and get this out there so he can be a voice against I don't know what. But I'm sure given the last few years and the way the civil service acted in conjunction with the Ramon in Parliament, he won't be missed by many and likely can be easily replaced. Now, of course, the BBC having the exclusive report on it this morning, we'll take a look at what they had to say in their article also. Home Office boss quits over campaign against him. The top civil servant in the Home Office has resigned and said he intends to claim against the government for constructive dismissal. Sir Philip Rutnam said there had been a vicious and orchestrated campaign against him in Home Secretary Pretty Patel's office. So he was bullied by a five foot nothing woman. Pretty the motherfucking barbarian. Reported tensions between the pair included claims she mistreated officials, which she has denied. In other words, she probably told them what to do, they didn't like it, and started crying like a bunch of bitches. And given the day and age we live in, with the current snowflake condition that has infected many people, I expect she merely told them off for being an incompetent moron. The BBC Laura Koonsberg said Sir Philip's move was highly unusual. Yeah, could well be a political move if you ask me. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely possible. The BBC political editor added, I can't remember a senior public official taking a step like this. That's because usually they don't. Sir Philip, who had a career spanning 33 years, said he received allegations that Miss Padell's conduct towards employees included shouting and swearing and belittling people. So she used a bit of colourful language and moaned at people who probably weren't doing their job right. And this means she will get smeared in the papers by this moaning tosspot. He said he believed his experience was extreme, but part of a wider pattern in government. Because of course, the government are not going to bend over to the civil service this time, given how they fucked us over for the last three years in relation to Brexit. Miss Patel has not yet commented on Sir Philip's statement. So Mark said, well, cabinet secretary and head of the civil service, thanked Sir Philip for his long and dedicated career of public service and said Shona Dunn, who had been Mr Rutnam's deputy, will become acting permanent secretary. See, replaced already. He said he received the resignation with great regret, adding the Home Office's vital work to keep our citizens safe and our country secure continues uninterrupted, which I'm sure it will. It comes days after the Home Secretary and Sir Philip released a joint statement saying they were deeply concerned 
by various false allegations made about Miss Patel. So he went and released that and then backtracked on it and come out and tried to shit talk her and her department in the press. What a fucking scumbag. Allegations the pair dismissed include reports that Miss Patel, who has been Home Secretary since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister, bullied her staff and was not trusted by MI5 bosses, which I'm sure you've all seen the reports of. But in a statement given to BBC News, Sir Philip said, In the last 10 days, I have been the target of a vicious and orchestrated briefing campaign. He said allegations he had briefed the media against the Home Secretary was one of many completely false claims against him. Sir Philip said he did not believe Miss Patel's denial of any involvement in the false claims, adding that she had not made the efforts I would expect to disassociate herself from the comments. Oh, so because she hasn't come out and screamed about it, you then think she's guilty. Okay, I get it. He added he had attempted a reconciliation with Miss Patel, but that she had made no effort to engage with me to discuss this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, it just sounds like this guy is a bit butthurt. He's getting told what to do by Pretty Patel, and the government is not bending the knee to the civil service. Because you heard him say about a wider pattern in government. In other words, he doesn't like it that this government is not literally bending to everything the civil service puts out there, which might well have been the case with previous governments. Because to me, it just seemed that soy drinking loser was whining about a lot of nothing. And since it's common knowledge that this government is going after the civil service and its complete incompetence, would suggest to me that he might be slightly bitter about that. And, like I said, his words kind of suggest the same. This also could be Pretty Patel and the government weeding out the weak from within the civil service itself. Much like they had to do with the Conservative Party before the election. But on that note, guys, I am going to end the video there. Now, before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming-related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now, as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>